Hard work pays off. I'm not the tallest, the strongest, the smartest. But on any given day, I'm going to prove myself by working harder than the person to the left and the right. And that's something that we can control. I want all of us in the room to understand the value and significance of choices. When you wake up in the morning, you've got a choice. And that choice is to be happy or miserable. To make the most of that day or not. I'm encouraging you and asking all of you in the room to choose wisely. To make sure that you value that choice. That you choose in some way, shape, shape, or form your own destiny. to where you need to go, right? So what I did was I put my brain to work. And I went back in the teacher's desk and I pulled out a sheet of paper. And on this sheet of paper, I wrote a note that said, I'm stuck on the third floor. I'm hungry, you know, exclamation point, exclamation point. Come get me now, underlining it, you know, angry face, you know, dry. <laughs> And I went to the one classroom that overlooked the uh, recess area where all the kids were outside playing and doing stuff. And I folded this paper into a paper airplane. And I, you know, I scooched up to the window as best I could, open the window, and I threw this paper airplane out the window. And I watched as it sailed down and it hit my one friend in the back of the head, which is hilarious. And he's looking up, you know, and I'm looking down at him and I'm like, come on, dude. I mean, you got some common sense, let's go. So he's looking up and he, he looks up at me and he sees me. And he goes, <laughs> I'm like, dude, like open the open it up, come on. And so he does. He like picks up it, he opens up, and he's like, okay, I got you. So he goes to the teacher, you know, they send somebody upstairs, they get me an elevator key here, they get me downstairs for lunch. I will tell you that I, I milked that lunch period for the rest of the day, by the way. You know, because I wasn't going back to class, I had a, I had a long time. Um, you know what I'm talking about. But back to self-advocacy. Do you think that I was going to allow them to keep saying that I did not deserve an elevator key or I was not responsible enough. No matter how irresponsible I might not be or I might be with that elevator key, getting it lost or doing whatever, I'm not so irresponsible that I'm going to find myself stuck on the third floor, right? And so, I advocated for myself and I made sure that throughout the rest of high school, I had an elevator key. These are the things all you young people, these are the things that you have to do in life in order to be successful. You need to be, to be creative in your solutions. You need to be able to speak up when you need something. You need to be able to fight when you need something too. Those are going to be the things that make you successful. I'm seeing a slide here in our presentation that says success, nothing less. And for some of us, that's success. Some of our students, some of the people that you work with, success might be getting to zipper up their own jacket. Or, or learn the public transportation system, how to get to and from, how to make their own doctor's appointment. But those are wins. 
And I want us to celebrate those wins. I want us to understand that those wins should be valued and cherished. Instead of living day to day, I want us to live moment to moment. Time is precious. It goes by so fast. And then to be a self-determined individual, your dreams can become your goals. And our goals, many of us, we want to be happy, we want to be successful, whatever definition that may be. And we want us to be as independent as possible. 